want to talk a few things about what leads to some of the problems and challenges faced by songwriters. One comes with co-writing. When two people get together to write music, have they made a decision ahead of time as to, well, we're going to split a 50-50? What if one person comes up with the best ideas and the other has very few ideas? Should it then be 90-10? Should it be 80-20? Um, those things are not really spelled out in the law. That, they have to be worked out. In fact, if, if it's two writers who've written the song, or three or four, and once it's registered with the copyright office, the copyright office just assumes it's equal. And this gets interesting as to what happens when you co-write. Two people who frequently write together, occasionally hang out, and one time they're just talking, they're at a restaurant, and one says to the other, I think we should write a song called About Letters a soldier sends from war. The, the soldier's at war and writes letters home. And they both agree, that's great. Now what if they break up? And, and then the, the person who did not come up with that idea goes ahead and writes a song about a letter, a soldier in his letter home from war. And then it's very successful. What does the first person do? The first person gave the second writer the idea to write this. Is the first writer then who gave the idea to the second one, should he or she receive any money, co-writing credits, or not? And the answer is, according to law, it's absolutely not, because that's just an idea. You have an idea to do a song like this, write about um, someone at war writing a letter home to family and loved ones. Uh, but giving an idea, that's not protected by copyright. It's just an idea. 400 people can have that idea and out would come 400 different songs. Because what war are you talking about? Uh, what style of music? What speed? What instruments? It's only an idea. As the idea gets more and more specific things added to it, then it becomes copyrightable. And that's one of the big problems that people don't understand about copyright. It doesn't protect ideas. It protects the expression of an idea. So there can be a continuum. If you think an idea, you start to add details. And eventually, okay, now it's fully formed. Think of movies about aliens coming to Earth. Can you write about that and write a screenplay? Well, of course, it could be Mork and Mindy, it could be E.T., it could be my favorite Martian from the 1960s TV show. It could be all kinds of things. It's just an idea. The idea is not protected.